Rachel Carson was an ecologist before the science was even defined. Born in 1907 in Springdale, Pennsylvania to Maria McLean and Robert Carson, she credits her mother with instilling in her a curiosity and love of the whole world of nature. Her mother made sure her children were outdoors every day and shared with them the knowledge of natural history, botany, and birds, all of which were plentiful on their 65-acre farm along the Allegheny River. She attended Parnassus High School, graduating with honors and winning a scholarship to Pennsylvania College for Women in Pittsburgh. She intended to major in English and become a writer, but she changed her major to biology and interned at the Woods Hole Marine Biological Laboratory in Massachusetts. She went on to obtain a Master of Arts degree in zoology from Johns Hopkins University. She was hired by what became the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services to write short radio programs on marine life and was promoted to aquatic biologist. Rachel continued her research and writing, focusing on the impact that humans had on the natural world. She published three books, The Sea Trilogy, and in 1953, her book, The Sea Around Us, was made into a film and received an Academy Award for Best Documentary. Her writings show her embrace of a larger environmental ethic, ultimately an inspiration in the creation of the EPA. The modern scientist believes that man is steadily controlling nature. Now, uh, to these people, apparently, the, the balance of nature was something that was um, repealed as soon as man came on the scene. Well, you might just as well assume that you could repeal the, the law of gravity. The balance of nature is built of a series of interrelationships between living things and between living things and their environment. When evidence of widespread misuse of pesticide was revealed, Carson felt the need to speak out. She published her most famous work, Silent Spring, in 1962. Silent Spring has been called the most controversial book of the year. At the eye of the storm was Rachel Carson, one of the most celebrated American writers of her time. With her first three books, a lyrical trilogy about the sea, Carson had opened people's eyes to the natural world. Now, in Silent Spring, she delivered the dark warning that they might soon destroy it. If we are ever to solve the basic problem of environmental contamination, we must begin to count the many hidden costs of what we are doing. She accused the chemical industry of spreading disinformation and the government's unquestioned acceptance of this information to the detriment of U.S. citizens. The book met with strenuous opposition from the chemical industry, but it opened the public's eyes to the dangers of pesticides, especially DDT. She was called a communist and a fiction writer, and was threatened with legal action. However, President Kennedy, aware of Carson's writings, declared in 1962 that the President's Science Advisory Committee would take up the misuse of pesticides. There's growing concern among scientists as to the possibility of dangerous long-range side effects from the widespread use of DDT and other pesticides. Yes, I, 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 and I know that they uh, already are. I think particularly, of course, uh, since Ms. Carson's book, but uh, they are examining the matter. The U.S. government went into a review of all of her data and months later came out with a report basically backing Rachel Carson. If you have to make a Hall of Fame of, of people in the environmental movement, Rachel Carson is the game changer. She's number one. Rachel Carson died in 1964 after a long battle with breast cancer. By closing loopholes which permitted pesticides to be sold before they were fully tested, this bill safeguards the health of all Americans. I'm sorry the voice of Rachel Carson is still today. She would have been proud of this bill in this moment. In 1980, President Jimmy Carter posthumously awarded Carson the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our honor to induct Rachel Carson into the 2020 Irish American Hall of Fame for her contribution to science.